Yes, yes, welcome to another video. I'm LB, above me, Jordy Pordy, and today we're discussing Raheem Sterling with a source saying, Bray, that this week a meeting at Barcelona's offices will take place to study the feasibility of signing Manchester City's Raheem Sterling, Ooh. which remains a true objective of the La Liga club. We're going to discuss this in further detail. Before we do it, guys, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and go download the app for more Mutt Fan. This video is sponsored by Ultimate Fan. Ultimate Fan have a free app where you can be in with the chance of winning money every week. You open packs every week and build your Ultimate Premier League team. Think Fantasy Premier League slash Ultimate Team. The person with the most points in that game week can win up to £1,500. Tweet us your teams at hashtag CXUltimateFan. Shout out to Ultimate Fan for the sponsor. Yes, yes, go download the Ultimate Fan app. Link in the description. Genuinely sick. 18 and over, UK only. Go win some that free cash. Um, right, okay, so Mate Moretto, Bray, is the source here. Um, I think you guy works at Sky Sports as well, you know, so like oh, so possible a, a decent, decent guy. Decent source potentially here. Um, yeah, he's saying that basically Barcelona are basically having a, ever, having a meeting this week at the Barcelona head offices to discuss the Raheem Sterling. Now, there's been loads of rumours linking Raheem Sterling with, with Barcelona. We did a video actually last week, I think, um, about like a potential swap deal between um, Frankie de Jong, Raheem yeah. Sterling. In my opinion, bro, I'm getting the serious feeling now that this deal, <clears throat> I don't know how the deal's going to happen. Is it going to be a loan deal? Is it going to be a swap deal? I don't know how it's going to happen. But the vibe I'm getting right now is that I think this is actually a legit possibility that Raheem Sterling could end up at Barcelona. The vibe I'm getting at the moment is very much Raheem Sterling is more likely to leave this football club than stay. Um, that's that's the feeling I'm getting surrounding the the whole mm. Sterling situation. And Barcelona seems to be the club the, the, the club that want him. We know they've got no cash, which says to me that it's like the Frankie de Jong swap deal. Now that all this is coming out, mm. they could be looking at that as well. This meeting this week, they'd be going right. We can't afford to buy him, so we're gonna have to maybe do a swap deal. And then I mean, in summer they were trying to come to us with a few swap deals. Remember they tried to get Yal Cancelo, didn't they, and Bernardo Silva mm. for yeah, like Sergio Roberto. Time, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it, it got to a point where Barcelona wanted all our players. Uh, for trash players and it's just like look, look at the situation they're in they have no cash City City value Sterling very very highly despite him having uh, he running, his contract running, running down they, they value him as, a, as obviously a top player, per, per, player. and I think the Frankie Young thing could make could come true but in my head I'm thinking they're going to try and loan him in January they'll try and loan him maybe do like do you remember Juventus when mm -hmm. they signed uh, Loc is it Locatelli they signed Locatelli didn't they on a two year mm -hmm. loan deal mm -hmm. and then they pay him at the end of that because of uh, cash like reasons mm -hmm. I think they could look at doing the exact same thing with Raheem Sterling it's not a bad shout really because at the end of the day yeah Barcelona is, is a pretty grim situation if you're a Barcelona fan because probably, there are quite a few Barcelona fans that watch this channel for some reason um, they're in a pretty dead situation they have no cash but they also need to well they don't need to but they believe the board that they need to make like a marquee signing. And yeah. I make no mistake about it. Raheem Sterling would be a marquee signing. He's a brilliant football yeah, player. Um, if, he, if he can bring that Euro form into that team, yeah, maybe no, he'd be quality. Absolutely. So maybe that's something that they could do. Maybe they maybe they could go to City and, and go, you know what, right? We really want Sterling. You're not in the best situation as a football club because he's only got one and a half years left on his deal. Let us take him on like a, 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 a loan for the rest of his contract. But at the end of that, we will pay you an amount of money. Now, it may, might not make sense because then he's out of contract, but basically they don't pay anything up front. So basically they're just paying a loan fee, but they don't pay it for one and a half years. That then gives them a bit of time to sort out their finances. They get that marquee signing through the door whilst not having to worry about the cash straight away. City get rid of Sterling, if that's something that they want to do. Um, and whilst they don't get any cash straight away, they will get some cash in 18 months, you hope. Um, the one downside I, I do see to that from from the City perspective is that we're not really in a great situation here. You know, we've let him run his contract down. He's now got 18 months left on his deal. Um, he's out of favour. Is he going to sign a new contract? Th there is a possibility, as, as weird as it sounds, but there is a possibility that he signs a new deal. Because realistically, which clubs could this guy go to which would be good for him? You know what I mean? Because Barcelona, all right, could potentially be a good move, but they ain't going to be winning nothing serious for a long time. I don't see him going Real Madrid because they're getting Mbappe. I don't see him at PSG. 
I don't see him at Bayern. I don't see him at UV. So, you know, the only clubs I really see him at is, is, is sort of Liverpool. <laughs> No, it's not, I don't think about, about there. there. You know what I mean? Chelsea, New, maybe. <laughs> so, I mean, there is still an outside possibility that the guy signs a new deal because he kind of has to because there's no one that is able to take him or there's nowhere that he wants to go. But right now, if I had to put money on it, Bray, I, I think the guy's going to end up at Barcelona. And of course, bro, he has said in the past, hasn't he, that he, he kind of does want to play in Spain. Yeah, he has said that they he'd love like one of them kind of moves. I know he was pictured with like when he pictured with the, the City top on one shoulder, then a Real Madrid top on the other shoulder, and mm-hmm. uh, that, that was like one of his ideas like, back then. But I'm kind of with you on this. I kind of like saying it at the moment. I can't, I feel like he'll be favouring a move away from the club because of his time. I mean, he's not getting in the team at all. I think I seen something the other day um, that Freddie posted on on City Extra. I, I see him saying about how. There's a source that say he's going to give it from now until like in January to kind of like make up his mind pretty much if he if he can get back into team if he can't get back into back into team in the next two months then he's going to look at that situation and go yeah I'm dusted because mm. at the same time as well <laughs> we're saying this he's not playing now and we've got Fran Torres injured as well Fran Torres has still got to come back which is just going to make competition for that spot even more difficult because yeah. at the moment Raheem isn't getting in on the right hand side mm. and so we have to kind of play him as a striker other than the Bruges game when he only played 15 minutes mm. um, and when Fran Torres comes back bro he, he'll go straight back a striker so mm. it's kind of like he's in a really difficult position I, I, he's just fully fully out of favour and it is a shame and I, I actually seen some uh, article the other day obviously because it's international break and talking about England and uh, kind of saying about how why hasn't Sterling been able to do you know what I mean translate his Euro form into the City team and it's because he can't get in on the wing yeah, he, he can't get on the wing he can't play in his yeah. actual positions he's playing as a striker so but when he did play that right wing for like 20 minutes or whatever it was he did oh, look looked, really good he, he so. looked, we did a whole video on it it looked mint um, maybe maybe there is a, a way back for Sterling in that right hand side um, and one other thing I would mention about this whole situation is I think City will let the guy go if they can get the money back that they paid for him yeah. I think if they end up losing money on this deal in terms of what we paid Liverpool which I think was around 50 million, 50 million yeah. something like that I think City will let him go. And basically, we're saying to Barcelona, look, guys, you guys are in the mud, yeah? There's not really many t- players that you can get at the quality and, and, and sort of status as Raheem Sterling for £50 million. You can have him... Uh, the City might just say, you know what? You can have him now, pay us £50 million in two years. You know what I mean? You can't sort your finances out in 50, in two years. You can't get that money to us in, in two years. Then, you know, you might, you might as well wind up your football club. <laughs> so... I don't know. I, I'm a bit sad, to be honest, Brave. I've got to give my honest opinion. I'm a bit sad because I don't like the way this has gone for Raheem Sterling. And I still, I'm still a firm, firm believer that Raheem Sterling has been punished the most out of any football player at City due to the lack of a proper striker. I think Definitely. he thrives off a striker, just like he does when he plays for Harry Kane. And the last two years, we've basically had no striker. And look at where people say his form's dipped, you know what I mean? He says it's in the last two years. Guess when we've not had a, la- a striker in the last two years. So, yeah, I-, I feel a bit sad, to be honest, bro. But I do feel that I don't feel like his time is up. Unless he can get a stint in on that right-hand side, which is the only way that he, he gets his position back, bro. From now until the end of December, we'll know. Because if he can get in that team again, like, say the Bruges thing, because he looked mint. If he can actually be trusted into the team and Pep lets him play on that right-hand side and he can smash a few games, then anything can happen. It could and, completely go the other way. And I would also add, into um, AFCON, yeah, because so Mara, Mara is, is going to get off. That's going to only leave us with Gabby Jesus on that right-hand side. There is a real... I feel, in my head now, there's one last chance for Raheem Sterling to sort of get back into this team. It's on the right wing. He's going to have to battle for it because Jesus and Mahrez are playing very well. But Mahrez is going away with the AFCON. Jesus can dip in and out of form on that yeah. right-hand side. There is still a chance. I don't know. Let us know what you think in the comment section below on this deal. This Barcelona link... Is hotting up. We're seeing it every week now. Um, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you did enjoy the video, please give the video a, a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Go download the Ultimate Fan app. It's free to play. Um, 18 over, UK only. Be gamble aware and all that. Go win yourself some free money. And we'll see you in the next one. Just a bit. Not another 3 p.m. kickoff. Did you know that a lot of cities' 3 p.m. kickoffs are actually shown in the United States on television? For example, if you get Fubo TV, you can actually watch some of City's games that are televised in the States that aren't televised in the UK. 
The problem is, if you try and access that from the UK, you'll get geo-blocked, which means you won't be able to access their content. However, with ExpressVPN, you can tell the internet that you're actually in the United States of America, even though you're in Manchester, mate, which is our madness. Now, City Extra viewers can get a special discount by clicking the link in the description. You'll get three months extra completely for free when you sign up for their 12-month plan. So, unlock a world of new content today with ExpressVPN and support City even more.